my name is Tina Chancy, and I am here to raise funds for a project that I'm just obsessed about. It has to do with tiny antique bowed strings and the women who played them. Now the instrument that started them all was this one. This is a treble viola da gamba. The viola da gamba, which is, was an instrument that was very popular, oh, starting in the 1400s and into the 1800s. It was something like a bowed guitar. You played all the different sizes of instrument on your knee. There were six strings. There were two and fourths with a third in the middle. And there were frets. You hold the bow this way with the fingers on the hair for extra nuance and subtlety. I've played viola da gamba since I was, uh, I don't know, about 18. And uh, my favorite is the treble. It's an instrument with, I think, a lot of heart. Now this is a special treble. It was made in 1709 by Monsieur Moré, and I just bought this last year. Now to me, this fills out the trifecta of tiny instruments, because I'll show you what else I have. This was an instrument just played in the 18th century. It's called the par de sous de viol, and there's two kinds. This is the five-string par de sous. You notice it has frets. It's kind of like a treble, smaller though. And its name is par de sous, or above the dessus. Par de sous have strengths. They, uh, they were mostly played in France by women amateurs because women loved the violin music of Corelli, but they were prohibited by custom from uh, putting anything up here because it just didn't look right. It spoiled the line of their dress. They're French, what can I tell you? So instead, an instrument was created for them that had the range of a violin, but you played it like a viol. The five-string par de sous and the bottom strings were in fifths, and the top were in fourth, overlapping. Instrument sounded really brilliant, really magnificent. Pardessou was played throughout the 18th century until the French Revolution, at which point it was no longer comme il faut to be thought of as an aristocrat. So this is an instrument that was made by Louis Gerson in 1745. But another instrument that I've been playing, which I'm very lucky to have borrowed, is this by Monsieur Grosset. It's still small, but it has six strings. It's a six-string par de sous, and it was invented, oh, I don't know, about 1680 by people who were playing high music on the treble, and they thought, well, gee, I can't play quite high enough. What if I take the bottom string off and put it on the top? And so people got the six-string par de sous with this extra G string up on top. And this sounds kind of like this. So I have these three amazing string instruments, all of them antiques, because this was made in, I said, 1740 by Monsieur Crosset. And when I got the third instrument, and the third instrument actually was the first one I showed you, I just acquired the treble in February, and I thought, well, what should I do? I know, I'll do a recording. And I'll do music that was written for each of those instruments, and I'll do music that it borrowed because these instruments were created to borrow. One of the things we borrowed was a concerto by Vivaldi. 
I understand that Mademoiselle Levy, who played in Paris in 1749, played a, a Vivaldi concerto on her five-string partisan. Now, what could that be? Well, there was an arrangement of Vivaldi's spring concerto for the hurdy-gurdy that came out just about that time. So I figured that Mademoiselle Levy probably knew that. So this is the type of work I'm doing, and this is what I'm trying to fund. Why am I fundraising for this right now? Nobody really knows what's going to happen. People are, are kind of holding on to their money and, and hoping for the best. But I had a kind of a wake-up call, which made me realize that now is the time. Two months ago, when I was playing a concert in Canada, I had an aortic dissection. All of a sudden, uh, I, was, I was playing the instrument and there was something that went like this around my heart. And I ended up in the hospital. And I wasn't able to play for two months. Now I've just started playing again, but it makes me realize that it's pretty much time to get going. So I'm asking if you'll help me because it's a great project. They're wonderful instruments. I'm playing with really remarkable people. And I think we need things like this right now to help us continue to have hope, to give us some sense of continuity that America is more than just its political life, that I think its artistic life is pretty important. And those of us who make our living as musicians, we'd really like to contribute something to make the rest of you feel better. It also makes us feel better.